I'm Stuart from SFV Leadworks. Welcome to the next job. Let's go and have a look and see what it's all about. Okay, so we've got some cap-ins to these coping stones. Again, um, I haven't got any scaffold. I haven't had scaffold for, for quite a while now. But it's quite a, quite a decent run through there. We'll go through there and return. Let's come up the ladder and have a closer look. When I get some scaffold again, I'll be really spoilt. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got from that back wall there, all the way through there, all the way down through here, and down through that bit as well. I'm not 100% certain on this bit yet. I need to speak to the builder if he, if he wants that done as well. I'm guessing probably yes, but um, I'll speak to him just to make sure before I start putting lead on there. So first thing we're gonna do, start taking some measurements, get everything set out so we know where we're going to. Okay, so that's all my welts all, all set out now. I've got everything marked out. What I've basically done is I've started with my corner first. I've got 760 wire lead for this code five. So what I did is, worked out how much I need out the front, come back for the 760 which was there and then come back with 25 and 50 where my welt is going to be. Done the same on that side because that's my corner section. I think it's just nicer doing it that way rather than than a mitre. You have a massive weld like coming all the way down there and obviously it's going to be a lot less work for me if I can just do that in one piece of lead. Um, obviously we still have an internal weld there and external there. So I've got, I set up my two corners, got both of them set up, and I just took a measurement from the centre of that well back to this wall. And that was three metres, 505, just divided that into three sections to give 1168 centres. So I've got all those welts set out through there as well. And then just copied the same process, took a measurement from that centre well right down to that one down there which was 10 metres, 965, and divided that as close as I could get them to this one. Got them at one metre, 96.5. Um, so that was that. Got all these, obviously all these, all these welts marked. I just find that easier then you just, you've always got a reference point. Um, and then I, yeah, just done the same on this section here. Set up the corner, took a measurement from that centre to the wall. And divide them equally as well so now that's all set out i've spoke to the builder as well and i am gonna be doing this this run through here as well so we've got a fair few meters to get on so now we've got it all set out we're gonna start cutting cutting some lead up and start getting it on okay so i'm making a good start at getting all these panels on there now i've got quite a few of them on i've got this section all marked out as well so we know where all the welts are on that now so we're around to to this point just around here so what i'm going to do now is just going to show you me knocking these up and getting the next one on okay so let's get this next panel on
Line as well, okay. So we've got 19 out in front. Perfect. I'll just need to extend the paper a little bit. Need an edge. of the copper and also when you notch it out it stops it all from sliding around you just can't do it too close to the edge because the stone over sells if you're not careful you'll blow the stone only by so I'm just going to notch this out now just by a few mil
using red plugs and I'm also using copper ring shank nails. I'm also just cutting a piece of copper off and using it as a washer. But when you drill through for the plug, the, the hole size is, is about the same size as the copper head. So if you just use a little bit of copper, you can just make that head bigger. And then it's, honestly, it's solid. That's good to know, so now I'm just going to work my way through and get the rest on. Okay, so that's most of these panels on now. Just got this last section to go on there, but I'm going to leave that off for the minute so I can easily get up and down off the ladder. So we'll leave this off for the minute. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to set in all these welts. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this metal plate and set an end stick. Just going to slide that plate underneath there to support the lead. I can just get my setting in stick, setting all those welts. So we get all these welts set in, and then we look at getting all these edges down. Okay, so I've dressed in most of these welts now. I've got all the edges down. It's all trimmed up as well. So now that's done. What I've got to do next, I'm just going to get this last panel on and start getting these, these edges dressed down on this last section here. Okay, so that's that last panel on there now. So I'm just going to dress that inside edge down.
Getting through those welts in K5, quite a few thicknesses there. rest.
Cassets okay, so that's all these cassets all welded in now. Just put a fixing point on these corners as well to stop that from lifting. So now that's all these gussets welded, the only thing left to do now, got to cut some flashings in. Got one to cut in here. There's another one to cut in down that far end. Get them pointed, give it all another coat of oil. And that'll be job done. Okay, so that's those flashings cut in now and it's all masticed as well. Just giving it all another coat of oil. So that is job done. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can check me out on Instagram at SLB Leadworks. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hopefully catch you in the next. Cheers.